my name is Tiana and in today's video we're going to do a shot with me as well as a ginormous haul so if you're new here my family and I have been living in our dream home for just around four months and we are transforming each space little by little to make this house our forever home so if you love all things home decor DIY that white black and gray aesthetic with some natural tones as well as clean with me's Please be sure to hit that subscribe button to join our March Forever family. And if you're an Odie but goodie, guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to first start with our shot with me. Eric and I have seen some pendants that we were interested in. And so we went to West Elm where they are to figure out the spacing um, and just to see if we truly like them in person. So I'm going to now drop that footage here so that we can see the shot with me portion. <music> here to see these in person they're very very big um, and I love them so we get to choose the hardware the shape as well as the globe or shade type so the three that I'm liking is this one right here which is the pebble that one I like the globe that's kind of classic and then the geo shape can you guys see that? It's the one at the very top right, right here. I'll try to put a picture on the screen. So I'm gonna ask Eric which ones he likes and go from there. I'm also loving this lamp here. This um, black and wood. It's reminding me of the living room. Love that, just don't know where to put it. So yeah, let's go ask Eric, I'll be back. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that shot with me. As you saw, we chose the pendants that we absolutely love. They're so simple, so minimal. Um, we were choosing between the clear globe ones, the clear geo ones, and then the clear pebble ones. I think that the pebble ones are my favorite, but Eric really liked the clear globe ones, so we went with those. And I'm kind of glad we went with those because I think when we start to purchase like vanity lights and other chandeliers and lighting um, it'll be much easier to find the clear globe with the black hardware so that we can have some cohesiveness around our house as far as lighting um, those were $169 each so a little bit pricey but I tried to find dupes but the dupes were either more expensive or they had another feature that I just did not like so we went ahead and went with those and they'll be delivered in August and so we'll install those as soon as we get them all right now guys on to the whole portion of the video we bought a lot of things over the past few weeks we are focusing specifically on the foyer as well as our owners oasis now as far as the foyer is concerned everything is working well I just wanted to put the shoe covers in a different basket because the wire one it just looks very messy I also wanted to still add some seating over there for someone who needs to sit down if they want to take their shoes off or add shoe covers and then I also wanted to elevate my Bible books so inside of my office my Bible books are elevated and I just love the way they look them laying flat down is not doing anything for me and so I elevated them to play with the space and I noticed that I had some gaps so I needed to fill those gaps with now adjusting where the Bible books are so I it, I did that um, also in our owners oasis it was starting to feel like a dreadful place to come we were just making this essentially a second mud room less the shoes it was just stuff everywhere clothes not being folded clothes folded and being put here being put there everything that's on the dresser because there's nowhere else to put it um, and so we really wanted to focus on the space to really bring it to feel more like a oasis which is why we named it that in the first place and so we have some storage concerns to address um, as well as just some design things um, so that it can be practical and functional and so before I even get into the haul um, I'll share what we're doing on this wall which is behind me so I'm actually in our owners oasis in the sitting room and 
behind me um it was supposed to be a window here like that was standard to have a window here but when we tore the model it was a fireplace and eric instantly knew like i want a fireplace um and so we were gonna do the upgrade but it was six thousand dollars and i'm like no that's too expensive and i really wanted i think the electric fireplace because we wanted just that contemporary modern like look and so we asked him to remove the window and just board it up and that was 300 bucks so very economical and we knew we can come back and do it later and so we met with our handyman he gave us a quote and everything and literally we're gonna be paying like one sixth of the price and so I'm super excited we went this route we saved tons of money and he's gonna do it exactly the way we want um, and so I'm excited about that so we'll see that probably in about August to maybe even September um, we definitely want to get it done before the fall comes or before the winter so we can enjoy this space um, in the colder months so we'll do that soon all right now to kick off the haul guys I'm gonna first show you some things that we're gonna be using in multiple spaces and I bought duplicates because I just love it so much and so the first thing I want to show you is this wonderful lamp love this lamp seen this in Carolyn Nell's house she has like a um, entry table in her living room and she had two of these lamps on here and I knew I wanted it when I first saw it. Um, and so on our mood board or I think of our picture of inspiration, one of our pictures for our bedroom, there was a lamp with like a um, tall pole here. And so I knew I wanted to find something like that that was kind of tall and these are it. And so I have two for our nightstand. Well, one, well two, one on each nightstand of course and then one in the foyer as well. And this was 40 bucks from Target, but I got it for 32 bucks and it's on sale now. Um, then, all right, so the next thing I purchased were four of these um, woven baskets. They were 12 bucks, got them on sale for 10 bucks at Target. Love this brown color, really bringing that natural element to the spaces. This will house the shoe covers as well as it will go on our nightstands in the open shelving so the way our nightstands are they have one drawer and they have one open shelf and jackie ina she has a home instagram page called lavishly jackie and she has a similar nightstand with one shelf and one drawer and in the open shelf they had a basket like, oh my god that's so genius so that you don't have to style the nightstand shelf you can put a basket and hide your junk <laughs> and so i got four of those and the next thing we got for more so i guess downstairs um the foyer area is are these two pieces here i love them so this piece i am like obsessed with i love the back the tans the browns it just is it, it looks so natural to me this was 30 bucks from home goods and i think this is definitely going to go on the foyer table and then this piece that matches it has the same tones and element to it this one was 40 bucks from home goods and i think this will go great on the coffee table in the living room with some dry stems because the browns and creams will really tie in the mantle as well as the um accent chair so i'm excited for that um lastly i got it i don't have physically here with me but it's coming is i purchased these um ottomans for our foyer you guys know i wanted something there for people to sit on and so i purchased two of those those were 80 bucks but are actually on sale for 68 bucks um and they also match the light brown accent chairs in the living room perfectly um so i'll be able to repurpose those if i ever need to which is great now on to the owner's oasis the first thing we purchased is this dresser right here that really helped us solve the storage issue it is the mom dresser and it's 199 i believe um, and we already had one of these and so on instagram i have been seeing a lot that people have been buying duplicate dressers and just putting them together to make it look like one big dresser and i love the way that looks and so since the tv wall in our room is ginormous i said let's get a second dresser it'll solve the issue it also gives it this custom look because 
I've never seen a dresser just this big so putting them together makes it look like one big dresser which I really really like um, so there's that now to adorn our dresser we're going to style it with these two pieces that I have been eyeballing for so long these are from the Hearts and Hand Magnolia brand at Target the smaller one is 25 bucks the larger one is 30 bucks and I've been wanting these but I didn't want to just buy them and not have nothing to do with them or know where to put them and so I finally got them and they're going to basically be on the far end of the dresser because I want to have things on the ends and nothing in the middle and then I also purchased this candle that will actually also be in the foyer um, I love that like crackled tan cream brown look so it'll be in the foyer and it'll also be next to these two vases because I'm trying to style in sets of threes okay so we have the vases the candle in the middle it'll just be the sound bar which is very minimal like it's black nothing there and then on the other far end of the dresser will be these three tapered um candle holders <laughs> From Target from $25 and I'm sorry that um, tan candle that was just 10 bucks on clearance I had ripped the tag off so I don't know the brand y'all but I got these candle sticks from Michaels for $1.99 Target does not sell them anymore at least in store um, but I'm excited for these they have three different heights so tall the medium and the small and so these are going to go on the opposite end to add that symmetry and balance that I'm obsessed with um <laughs> And then also, let's see what else. Hmm. Oh, okay, I'll do these. Like also for the dresser, I did purchase these pools. These are 13 inch pools and then I did the six inch pools for the nightstands. Eric actually likes it without the pool, so I might be returning these, but I figured let me go nickel because I really wanted to go black. But I said let me go nickel because I think the lighting that we're doing in this room is going to be nickel because I think I want to paint this entire room black. And so um, I was thinking about putting a nickel chandelier in this space and so this could like tie in the nickel. But we'll see. We'll see what Eric Mosh thinks. Um, something else I purchased um, was this beautiful fig plant. It's so green and just so gorgeous. I love it dearly. Um, it's funny because it was 20 bucks from Home Depot. And so when I went, it was nighttime. And they were pulling out new plants. And they had them wrapped in saran wrap. And I seen some big plants. But they were like, you know, beat up. Leaves all broken up. And I'm like, uh -uh, I want a fresh one. And so I cut open the, the saran wrap. And <laughs> I pulled this one out and it was like perfect like no slits in the leaves it was perfectly green it just looked like someone was taking great care of it and so I got this and it was 20 bucks and I love it now it's not this high I think it's about three feet and so I want to elevate it because I really want a tree in this room but I just couldn't find one that was real and I yeah, I know I don't do artificial. And so I purchased this woven basket um, to add some extra height to it this one was from the threshold brand and it was 30 bucks and i think it actually matches this perfectly this is more medium i don't know if the camera's picking that up this is more medium this is more dark and i just love those natural elements and you guys can't see it but it's also sitting on a stool to add the extra height again i'll put that here um and that one was 30 bucks from target and it has that natural color which i'm loving um, because that's really all the natural that will be in here is the stool the basket i believe and um the nightstand baskets the next thing that i purchased was this lovely mirror super tall mirror i'm so excited we finally got one and we're going to put it near our bed because all our mirrors are near the bed grown folk stuff <laughs> but it's from the max studio brand um at home goods and it was 200 bucks it's probably about seven and a half between seven and eight feet let's say that's what eric said so it is pretty tall and i love it um what else did i forget anything oh yes i also purchased this pot 
on clearance. It's all banged up, beat up. It was 15 bucks. I just got it because I want to put the plant inside this and then put this inside this. I really didn't care what this looked like. And so it was 15 bucks, which was cool. All right, now I'm going to go on to bedding stuff. Now, as far as bedding, we're going for very cozy, textured, warm, and we really like the Casa Luna brand. Babe, do you like the Casa Luna sheets we have now? Any complaints about the sheets or the blanket? Okay. So, we really, I wanted to make sure it was we and not just me. <laughs> we really love the Casa Luna brand. Nothing wrong with it. I love the linen set. It's a weighted comforter, which I love. It helps me sleep really well. It has like a cool side and then it has the linen side on the side that you actually see um, and it's no problem no complaints I did see horrible reviews and for when I read some of the reviews I kept seeing stuff that was saying oh this is this is hard to dry but why are you drying it like no like I feel like something like that shouldn't be dry as you guys seen in a previously a previous clean with me I hang this on my railing and let it dry and I wash my sheets with the essential oil lavender as well and the fact that I don't dry it it makes the smell much more potent and if you just do it first thing in the morning it's dry by the time it's time to go for bed so I love it I love that it's weighted it helps me sleep really really good like I never want to get out of bed because it's so heavy um, and I'm a teacher and when I taught pre-k 4 and kinder well, mostly pre-k 4 and we had a student who had a hard time sleeping we would give them a weighted blanket and that would be the only way that child would go to sleep and so I love a weighted blanket child okay but anyways I purchased another Costa Luna um, comforter set it comes with the comforter as well as the um, two shams it's 150 bucks again I love it and I got the cream color we have like a dark we have like a tannish, really dark, dark cream color. I don't dislike it, but we've always been white sheet and blanket people prior to having a kid. Well, not always been, but we did go into that um, prior to having a kid. And with having a baby, I know that baby poop, that newborn poop, that black stuff that don't come out of sheets, okay? Baby pee, baby throw up, milk, I'm leaking. And so the sheets was getting brown at that point. And so we went gray. But of course here we couldn't go gray. So we went like a dark, uh, like a tan or dark cream. And so now that we have our bed back, I am just want to try white again. And so we got another one of those. Um, and then I wanted to try the Hearth and Hand brand of linens. Um, linen sheet set and I'm excited about it again nothing wrong with the cost on it in my opinion but I did want to try um, a different brand just because I like to try different sheets um, this is, comes with the flat and the fitted sheet and then two pillowcases and this one was 79 bucks um, I'm excited to try this I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited anything else oh yes I also purchased last but not least two of these Costa Luna memory foam um pillows i'm excited because i like all different types of pillows they all serve a different purpose so the soggy pillows the soggy long ones i like those to actually sleep my put my head on and sleep because i don't want anything too stiff because i'll get um a crook in my neck the firm ones i usually use those for my body of some some place in my body and so we're going to take the firm ones off because I found that we really haven't been using them as often. And we're going to try the memory foam ones to replace the firm ones. And I'm going to put the firm ones in the closet somewhere. Might we use them for a uh, um, guest room or something like that. Um, but I'm definitely excited to try the memory foam ones. I'm trying to make sure that's everything I purchased. That's everything. Yep, that is everything for today's video guys in today's haul i hope you guys thoroughly enjoy please let me know down in the comments what was your favorite what was your favorite item you purchased what are you most excited to see me style i just can't wait um also don't forget to follow us on our march forever home instagram page we have tons of fun over there love connecting with you guys over there um and just stay tuned in our next video we'll most likely be sharing a styling 
or restyling the foyer. Um, we'll do that once the Ottomans get here. And then we'll also share the styling of our bedroom. And I'm excited to make it sexy land. Because <laughs> right now it's not giving that. Um, so yeah, that's all for today's video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.